in lecture 8 we actually derive everything for the bar all right this whole thing are for all for the bar all right and in fact for the last few lessons from l9 on we also derive something for the bar also all right then we also know that we have been constantly being thrown with this equation b b t d v or if you were to change this db to d a all right sorry area times dx sorry so db can be written as area times dx so if you to bring this a towards this side you have ea all right while the b and the bt all are the same are all the same right i'll show you that this is pretty much straightforward for that okay but as for now we're gonna do this is for the bar all right this whole thing is for the bar in fact this whole chunk over here is for the bar you rearrange this one into this one you get a bar or this is still the bar anyway so for the beam itself instead of b e a all right you're talking about b e i b t d x okay this is for the beam to be more exact this is the x one okay so um and just to take note that why is it one is because you have a we have a beam over here it's in the one direction and in the two direction okay maybe i should um in the two direction and therefore um this is the node one this is node two there will be u displacements and u2 displacement over here but for a beam you have a rotation theta all right so you have theta one two and node one all right which is at node one and theta one two at node two okay so constantly you will be thrown at as some like x one or or some weird stuff so be be, be mindful that the the, the notation is that it, it is it in terms of the one direction or the two direction like your if you have if you still remember your stress plate your plane stress or whatever you have sigma one one sigma two two or sigma one two these are some something similar to that right similar and therefore the purpose of me doing doing this video right here right now is to tell you that the bar l8 lecture 8 lesson 8 talking about this and we're gonna use the same analogy this is just analogy only all right with the understandings because you're gonna have uh the first order system if you remember that u is equals to uh what uh, a1 plus a2x all right later on you will get to see c cube plus c square plus something okay so therefore it's in terms of a third order system for the cubic all right then we also prove to you how to derive that whatever all right but at least you get to know know this stuff so in the next next four videos we're going to introduce you with the beam all right that our purpose here is to derive this thing including the stiffness matrix this first three video especially this third la last one is to derive this one or the last video will derive the, the k matrix for example for the bar it's k is equals to ea over l 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 for the k for the beam itself is simply uh, something like this is this one okay so in the last video you're gonna you're gonna derive this one all right but in between in between um, the the videos you're gonna come across certain analogy which you may need to understand from the uh, v8 video or the lesson 8 or the lesson 8 videos or there's some analogy within that all right like the shape function n or the strain displacement b or the strain displacement matrix b and things like that all right and so therefore um a quick intro over here is that the beam itself at uh, this video over here is to gonna talk about the simple beam all right all the all about the beam like the definitions the the equations and so because you you will use all this um, understanding to derive uh, a certain form of a pvd all right so we're going to use pvd also you remember this is the last the last previous video was pvd so we're going to also derive pvd in this case using the understanding of the beam once you derive the pvd all right which is um the pvd this is the first part all right but you're going to derive into here which is somewhat of this form and this form is coming from pvd is not from the weak form Galakian's method anymore or right, because the pvd principle virtual displacement is very easy to prove a lot of stuff 
it's very easy to, 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 to derive this thing over here all right mainly based on the strain if you remember the strain strain you sub in any strain you give you have different path uh, because the strain at for different shapes will have different form of a strain all right while the stress is always just a stress it's just a force over a certain area that's all but for a strain is in terms of so many weird stuff going on okay so be very careful of that and the last video pvd all right you're going to derive this one and using this one the last video over here you're going to derive you're going to derive the stiffness matrix which is this one okay and i shall see you in the next four videos good luck